welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am joined by Rebecca. Well, technically she's joined by me because this is her yard. <laughs> so yes, I am here visiting Rebecca in Wellington, Florida, and we are at her beautiful yard called, is it Three Graces? Three Graces Dressage. Three Graces Dressage. So we have had the most beautiful day. It's been really sunny. There was a bit of a rainstorm in the middle. We nearly, we nearly got Almost got poured on. We did. <laughs> but we've hacked four horses between us and she had a lesson on one, so it's been kind of a busy day, which is why we, you know, look like this. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna do a walkthrough of the entire yard here, show you guys around. Rebecca's gonna talk us through yeah. everything. She's gonna explain like what's where and why, and we're gonna show you all the horses. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, take us to your, take us to your arena. I was about to say yard, but we're at the yard. So guys, this is the most beautiful arena. It's a shame the sun's not out now, but it's just peeped it was out in. All day. Yeah, it was out all so, day, right? This is my arena. Um, it's 20 by 60, regulation Olympic size. Yep, 20 by 60. Uh, we have mirrors down there. Um, what? Uh, can you tell us what service is? You know, it is. I think it's cloth mixed with sand. Yeah, and then something else. It's the cloth's so good to help it like help it be springy, so that's why they put cloth in it's sand arenas. Um, if it's sand, it's too dense, and the horses can slip. They can get their feet stuck. The cloth helps the the spring. So, should we go over to your little uh, little, little viewing little area? area. Yeah. yeah, and so this is kind of just when you walk in. Look how beautiful this is. I love the red and like dark brown theme. So I was saying to Rebecca earlier that this place reminds me of like something you'd see in Saint-Tropez, like some sun shelter on the beach. Like, how cool is this? Like, yeah. let's, go, let's go in. This so, is our viewing area. So when I'm having a lesson here, my mom, my trainer, they sit here and so this. watch. How cool is this? Like. So would you tell us about these curtains? Because I've noticed them. So I've noticed these curtains everywhere. And it says cool curtains on them. So I, you know, I'm guessing they keep people cool. But why don't you tell us a little so, bit? So I don't know how much they keep people cold, but it's very shady in here. And um, right now they're not like super purposeful because it's cooling down mm -hmm. here. But when it was like middle of summer, they really made a difference. Um, so did they help? They help shade it. Help, it's helped shade it. Um, I noticed they help with the airflow a little bit. Okay. So they help shade it, they help the effort, and I presume help with the bugs too? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The bugs aren't too bad until nighttime. Okay. So when I'm running Florida, out here during you get the day, bad, bad bugs. Bad bugs at night. <laughs> it's not too bad during the day though. That's amazing. So this is the arena and the training area. And look how cute this is. It says like, oh, I don't know if you can see this on here. 3 d d three guys it's just us beautiful. Okay. So should we should we go back and then head through the barn? That would be cool. Do the horses first or the grooms first? Um, either. Doesn't matter. Okay. So this is, we're just going to walk down and we're going to take you into the main barn. You can, you guys can probably hear the fans because each horse has a fan, but we'll go into that. Should we start with the feed room because it's there? It's fine. So this is the beautiful so this is, barn. This is the entrance to the barn. We have two off racks here. How cool are these? So two beautiful like wash racks, like tack up bays type thing. All the stuff you need. Usually this stuff is out in front of the wash racks, uh -huh. but at night we put it in here to be protected. Very, very nice. They all get a fan. So, I think we should So this is the feed room, but this door is crazy heavy. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, oh. Pull. <laughs> so as you walk in, how cool is this? Like this is such a nice kitchen. So clean. I know I'd never seen a, a, a feed room like this. <laughs> Look at all this. This is all my stuff because I've just been here with Rebecca all day. So my hat, my bag, my camera, everything. But like, we're in the middle of packing for a show. So look at the horse treats next to human everywhere. treats. So I'm just gonna take one for the road. Oops. <laughs> so this is the uh, feed room. So. Rebecca, show us where everything is. So, this is my feed room. Uh, we have all of their food here. We keep the hay in another separate compartment out of here so it's not as and Look at the floor. Have you ever anything? seen a feed room? This neat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. So yeah, we keep their feed here. Um, and what do they get fed, like, predominantly? They get fed Kentucky Equine Research Feed. Okay. Um, it is good for horses that are metabolic or have sugar issues. Oh, cool. Um, which 
a couple of mine do, but I think it's pretty healthy for the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Also, it keeps everything balanced. And then I have some storage up here, my extra bits. Look extra how folders. many bits this is. I could be in a tech shop. Look right? I <laughs> quite the bit collection. Look at all this. And what are these? What are all these? Storage, um, extra cleaning products, extra, you know, drinks. Cool. Extra supplements and fly spray. Everything's so stuff. organized and super neat. And then over here we have like medicine cabinet with like needles and oh, wow, know, okay. gloves and all that stuff. I keep all my horses' passports here and they never leave here unless I'm going to a show. <laughs> That's very good. Keep them where you want to see them. Yeah, just supplements, Amazing. medicine. I have a separate compartment for all of my medicines mm -hmm. that's not FBI legal or something, so nothing gets uh -huh. nothing contaminated gets mixed, or yeah. I have to give that's them that. That's super important. It's completely separate from everything else. So, so yeah, that is the beautiful feeder. Can we just take a peek inside this fridge? Because how cool is this fridge? So it's for human and horses. So look, so that was just full of drinks. Look at the carrots for the horses. You've got the chilled, chilled supplements and then all the, the human snacks. Any supplements that have to go in the fridge stay in here. It's so clever. I love yeah. this. <laughs> we, love a, we love a fridge. And on the bottom part, we just have ice, ice boots and ice cream. Very essential for yep. living in Florida. Super important. <laughs> cool. So now we've seen, so this is the feed room. It's absolutely beautiful. I walked in here and I was like, this is the feed room. Like the feed room is normally like <laughs> the dirtiest, like, or not dirtiest, but like the messiest spot. And it smells of horse food. This place doesn't even smell of horse food. Like, I, I don't know what... Anyway, it's just, it's amazing. So, what should we do next? Should we go and meet the horses? Meet the horses or tech room. Okay. Okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, look at this, guys. So when you walk through, straight into the paddocks. And how many paddocks did you say you had? I have seven paddocks. I have six smaller ones. Yes. And then I have a bigger one over there that wow. we built for my bigger horse. How pretty is this? And they're all close together, so everyone feels friendly. <laughs> right. Left or right? <laughs> Let's go left. Let's go left. We're gonna meet the horses, guys. So each horse has a beautiful uh, head collar outside and a nameplate. You can't really see this Hi. on the camera, but it's, here, it says Kai. So this is Kai. So why don't you tell us about this Kai? This is Kai. His show name is Kai von Wittenstein. Oh, it's, yes. that's a long one. That's a mouthful. <laughs> he is five years old. He turned five in May, and he is by Dream Boy Florencio. Yes. And he's quite the character. <laughs> Um, You're cute. We're leaving for regional championships in Ocala. Can we just look at this? What, got, <laughs> what is this? I just got slime too. You're so shiny. <laughs> Sorry. Just ate. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, we're going to regionals in Ocala next weekend. So super excited for that. We're going to do first level and second level. And then... Which, can you just explain? So I, I, most of my followers, I think, are English. English. Yes, and so, European. So what is first and second level? First and second level is... First level is when you just start with the sitting trot and uh -huh. a little bit of lateral work. There's some leg yields, mm -hmm. trot lengthenings, counter canter. Um, what would it like equate to? Like, um, like elementary, maybe? See, I only know like... The, oh, the you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. sure about the British. Um, I'll look into that and I'll put like, it in the uh, for, for like German and... Swedish and all of that, it's about M level. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what that translates to into British dressage, so I might have a look into that, and if I do, I'll pop it in the yeah. uh, description below. So, and then second level is um, when they start doing shoulder in, halt, rein back, change, okay, the change through stuff. the walk, mm -hmm. making them collect mm -hmm. and sit a little bit behind some walk pirouettes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do with him. Cool. So that's the special boy. <laughs> So this, this is, is my, my other special boy. To, oh, you can't see the nameplates on here, but it's Pronto. Pronto. And Hi, baby. He is my Grand Prix horse. Mm -hmm. We did two U25 competitions at the beginning of this year. We did pretty well. He unfortunately had a small injury after that. Oh. And we're almost all the way back now. Oh, we're he's nearly. He's, he's almost nice, there. Hi, buddy. So, so, he's, he's so cute. I'm hoping to compete him this season. And, oh, he is... He's 16 years old, he's, 16. he's Swedish, and he is by Prestige Good Times. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is the, this is the one I went for a hack on earlier. He was very cute. A couple of little spooky spooks, but he was a good boy. He really he's was. He's a good boy. He's my sweetheart. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. See you in a minute, buddy. So I keep my boys on this end of the barn, and then I have my two girls down here. Hi, beautiful. This is Mississippi. And, oh, she is jet black. You are beautiful. Can I open Sure. She's the second one I rode today on a hack, and she was an angel, an absolute angel. She, she put the boys to shame. She does not have 
one speck of white on her at all. We call her Beyonce. Hey, baby. <laughs> she's beautiful. And she's very sweet. She's a beautiful girl. So, did you tell how old she was? No, she, okay. she is 10. She's also a Swedish Warmblood. Mm -hmm. um, I compete with her at Small Tour and we're schooling the Grand Prix. Uh, next weekend, I will take her to regionals to ride pre St. George I won with. Amazing. I'm super excited, yeah. You're gonna be such a good gal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet the other beautiful one. And this, the name on here says Tashumik and yes. Tashumik. And it, her nickname Shumi. How I'm cute is that? Shumi, mushroom, shoom shoom. She has many nicknames. She's Shumi. very pretty. She's like a mushroomy kind of color. Beautiful girl. She's eight years old, also a mare. Um, Swedish warmblood. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm starting to think Rebecca has a type. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> yeah, she's eight years old. She is by Tuchinsky and Blue Horse Romancier. Oh, nice. And we currently school the Pre St. George and a little bit of the Grand Prix. We just started with some of the ones. She's very sweet. And she's she just wants to cuddle all day, every day. She's such a sweetheart. You're a Hi. good girl. You're a good girl. So there's two of the boys and two of the girls. Let's go meet the last two. The other boys, yeah. Yeah, so it's of course not the least. Also, hi guys. guys, you're so cute. Oh, and also they have all these cute chairs outside so we can sit and just chill and chat to the horses. Hi. Oh my God, hi. <laughs> so cute. So Rebecca's actually packing for the regionals. So we have a lot of stuff here that she's been packing for today. I'll just quickly take you around here. Can we quickly look in your tack locker before we... Yeah. This is her beautiful tack locker. Look, we, it's so shiny, you can see us. <laughs> so yeah, here's my tack locker. Almost new, I don't need to spend time before this. Look how clean and so much room. It's almost brand new. We just started packing. Stuff in the cut. In the yeah, that's like braiding stuff. So neat Cleaning and tidy. stuff. Brushes and some other stuff. So good. Yeah, we're almost packed. Cool, I'm excited to see that when it's full. So, let's meet the boys. So this is Captain. So, over here I have my two homebred horses that my mom bred. This is Captain. Hey, baby. He is nine years old and he is by Comeback 2 and Sunny Boy. Sunny Boy, yeah, Oh. And um, he's trained about third level. Third so level. I he, can't wait to find out what he can these do. Mean. He can do a half pass. He can do a change. Um, yeah. He's very sweet. He's super sweet. A little bit special. <laughs> <laughs> as, as some of the, the best ones yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's very sweet though. So yeah. Cutie pie. Fun. So now we're just gonna take you over to the next one. Augie is how cute is this that is name? Augie. This is my horse that my mom bred. His name is Augustus. Augustus. I named him Augustus because when he was born, I was in the middle of uh, university and I studied Greek and Roman history. Okay. And when my mom asked me for a name for him, I was like, "Why not the Emperor Augustus of Rome?" That's so cool. She needed an A name, so that's look why at him. Name. He just away. Hi, Augie, come here. And they have two fans each, which is really cool. And they have they have a little thing. I don't know if you guys can see this on the ceiling. And that gives off fly spray. How how often? I think every 45 minutes. Every 45 minutes. So you guys have a better life than most. You really do. So yeah, he's four. He just turned four in May. And we just, I started him under saddle myself. And we're getting there. We're yeah. doing a little bit. Walk canter transition. You had a beautiful lesson to this morning. Yeah, he's great. And um, he is also by Tuchinsky, so he's a little brother of Tushumi. Oh. But on the other side, he is Donahall. Donahall? I love Donahall. Yeah. You're beautiful. It's Augie. Augie. <laughs> Gorgeous boy. And how cool are these hainets? Like we, like, we don't really see these often in England. They're cool. Like, we have, um, you know, the, the more general ones? Yeah. Yeah. So. So guys, it's everyone's favorite part. We are gonna go to the tack room, which I'm just gonna pre-warn you, it literally looks like it could be someone's bedroom. It is the neatest, tidiest, cleanest thing I think I've ever seen. There's not a smell of horse, there's not a sniff of horse. It's just, it's amazing. But, but first, we're gonna walk past the little koi pond they have. I think it's koi pond. Well anyway, koi pond, and it's we a have, fish pond. We have one fish there, his name is Slimy. So Slimy ate his brothers, which, we so put, that's why he's put, alone. We put a couple in there for company, and honestly, they were not that much smaller than him, but, he ate them. How, how zen is this? <laughs> Chill. So, this is where the magic happens. 
Yeah. Once again, I'm packing for a show, so there's a little bit of things everywhere. But I'm just gonna highlight that there's like one bandage on the <laughs> chair and one everywhere. bag on the side, and this is Rebecca's version of there's stuff everywhere. It's a mess. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go in. So let's start. Let's start this side. So obviously we've got the boots. I've got my boots here. Beautiful boots. And then, oh, we love a hat. We love these sparkles. Also, this is such an interesting, <laughs> such an interesting <laughs> sculpture. So let's have a look. Talk us through the bridles. All right. So I have all my bridles up here. Mm -hmm. um, I have extras, obviously. I don't have that many horses here. Uh, yeah. But some of them have a snaffle and a double. Um, most of them just have a snaffle. I only have two going in both of them right now. But all of my bridles are either um, Steinhaus, which mm -hmm. is a German company that my trainer in Sweden, Jan Brink, introduced me to, or my horses go in the Danish finesse bridles. Oh, they're beautiful. Yes. Um, so all of my bridles are up there. And then I've got six saddles here. Um, one for each horse. One for each horse, yeah. If you're counting. Two of them are Patrick saddles, which mm -hmm. is British. And then Kai saddle is a Veritas. Augie saddle is a Nacelle, which is French. And then Shumi saddle is an Albion. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got a glove collection here. That's so neat. I like to pick my outfits so I can... We love that. And let's let's just show like let me just show how many bandages we have here. So this is like a whole like oh unit God, dedicated. Socks. Look at this. You know how long I've been looking for these socks. <laughs> and then obviously bandage wrapped. And then would you open everyone's favorite bit, please? You guys aren't even ready for this. Look at this. It's all my as Erin says, numbness. Numbness, <laughs> or as Rebecca likes to say, <laughs> saddle cloths. And I've got, I've got my back on track wraps there. I only wrap them in back on track at night. Um, and can you show us the other side yes, too? Yes, I can open up the other side. Look how many saddle pads she has. They're honestly, so color coordinated. And I've got in here. Look at this. There's one for literally every day. Every day, yeah. Every day. <laughs> so, and then a little nice. Uh, Boot bag in the middle. We got our overreaches. Oh, 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 these are nice. Look how jazzy these are. They're shiny. Also, we just need to have a minute and just talk about the bathroom in here. So this looks like a hotel bathroom. So we're gonna just wave. Hi, Rebecca. Say hi. <laughs> so obviously we're both dressed head to toe in black heart. What else? <laughs> exactly. What else? <laughs> um, so this bathroom looks like a hotel. They have branded towelette things. They have everything you may need but it's the toilet that is very cool would you show us how to work that thing oh. ah! it just opened for me it's got a mind of its own which yeah it does everything it's got like it's like an electronic thing look how cool this is so and it's a heated seat i know i know that in our british winters a heated toilet seat would be so good Okay, let's talk in here for a minute. So today we didn't have anyone to uh, follow us around filming, did we? So no. we're kind of trying to trying to wing this, but you guys, you guys forgive us. I'm like, look at this. Look how neat this is, neater than my own house. <laughs> cool. So this goes to like... Um, let's show us everything. Over here, I hope you guys are enjoying this so we far. Have this is really cool. A little walkway over here. This is my hay steamer. I would die without it. Really? Is that yes. to make it nice and? Uh... It gets rid of all the bacteria. Oh, wow. It, 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 it's just nice for them. I Do they put it in overnight? No, it takes an hour. Oh, that's it. yeah, it takes an hour to steam. Um, I had a horse with really bad coughing issues mm, and allergies, and from the dust, been, and it's just been a lifesaver. This hay steamer. That's so clever. So over here, I keep my hay. In here, and like extra stuff for show. Wow, look how neat this is. Um, so yeah, like I said, we don't keep the hay in the feed room because it's it's it's, smelly, super, it's just yeah. smelly and messy. Um, it smells nice. Though. It, smells it smells nice. Yeah, and they have two really clean black wheelbarrows. We clean everything every day. I noticed that when we keep everything super clean, it helps with the flies. Yeah, see, we just. I obviously anyone in, in, who follows me who lives in England, like we have the bugs, but it's not like it's not like the heat and the flies and like no, the it just makes it, it just makes it worse. And then next door, my next door neighbors have cows. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so probably so, makes yeah. it worse. Which is a funny story because I was here all day with Rebecca, and so oh my and God. so one of her mum's dogs ran through the field, and she's 
she's tiny and she jumped the fence to go and play with the cows and then the other dog, I think it's been a, it's a madhouse here, it's crazy. But and then the other dog, the poor baby, started having a seizure, and he's absolutely fine. Poor baby, he's 14. He's been, well, he's 14, but he's still a poor baby in my eyes. Um, and her, and her mum was so fast, she scooped her up and scooped him up, sorry, and they ran him ran him away, got him some medicine, and he was absolutely fine. So this is good. But enough of my you know harping on. Let's let's take you around the. Uh... So this is just our paddocks. These are beautiful. Um, I do love them to be able to go in bigger ones. However, mm -hmm. in Florida, we don't have as much space in Wellington. And they'll also dress our horses. Sometimes need a little bit less, less space. space. At least they're going out and they're having a beautiful... Uh, my big green pretty horse, Concho, goes out in the big one because uh -huh. she's just large. Mm -hmm. in the yard that she's been kind enough to tour and kind enough to tell us a bit about everything that goes on. So typically, Rebecca rides five every day. I ride five horses every day at the moment. Yes. Which is wild. Like, that's a lot of riding. <laughs> that I, is a lot of riding. I usually have lessons. I usually have lessons on three of them every day and I kind of rotate them out. Mm -hmm. um, whichever ones don't have lessons one day, they'll go on a hack the next day. Or All of my horses go on the water treadmill twice a week, so we That's so try good. to fit that in there too. So yeah. Oh, and look at this, how pretty this is, walking back to the arena. I don't know about you, Rebecca, but I just felt droplets. I did too. <laughs> See, I thought Florida was just going to be beautiful, <laughs> screaming sunshine, but she told me they do have some crazy rain and weather too but we're done, so this is fine. Here's so, my yard. <laughs> yeah, so let's So go. thank you guys for watching this yard tour. Not that it was the hardest viewing experience. I mean, <laughs> I know I enjoyed it I enjoyed giving it, this was so fun. This is good. <laughs> so Rebecca's thinking about starting her own YouTube channel, so you guys have to follow her. If she does, I'm sure she'll post it on her social media, which we are gonna link here and we are gonna link below as well. So go and follow her on TikTok and Instagram. Obviously, I'd appreciate it if you followed me too. That would, that would be nice. Um, and like and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll ask Rebecca. We'll get back to you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And thank you, Erin, for coming and filming this. I love it. Yeah, just, just coming into horse heaven. You know, you, you're more than welcome. I had so I will, much fun. I will come back whenever you like. Always welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye.